Welcome back to another video, guys. In this video, we're gonna be talking about the 10 steps you need to take when you're closing on your house. Whether it's your first house, your 100th house, these are the steps that are gonna help you get into that nice, new, beautiful home. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be broke again. All right, guys, so the number one, probably most important step after you close is going to be to look into or schedule, preferably schedule already, all of your utilities to be turned on. Two quick notes about this. One, all areas are usually pretty different. So for example, in Georgia, tend to have natural gas. Down here where we're at now, doesn't have natural gas. And two, depending on what's going on in the, in the closing date, if it's potentially gonna get pushed back, the utilities might not turn on until later date. For example, Taylor's water is not working because they pushed it back. So again, look into this before, time, before closing and maybe, you're lucky enough and they'll let you schedule it ahead of time. All right, guys, and this is right at closing. You're gonna sign a bunch of documents, but make sure you get a copy of them. Goodness gracious, see, it is a book of documents, but make sure you have a copy of these for your records. All right, guys, and next, you're going to want to change your address or update your address at the USPS so that you can have all your mail forwarded from the previous address to your new address. This is a bill. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys, another thing you're going to definitely want to do is change the locks on your house. You don't know who has a key or who has a keypad. You don't know who's going to be coming and going. Who are you? Okay, so the next step is going to be to have this house deep clean, deep as possible. Whether you do it yourself on your hands and knees and you're scrubbing or you hire someone to come in here and just clean the heck out of this place. You want it to feel like your brand new home. All right, guys, another thing you're going to want to do is check if you're eligible for a homestead. Now, this is just something you can apply for, but it will greatly reduce your taxes. And of course, we're always trying to reduce our expenses, especially when we've bought a brand new home. We got denied. You keep saying we. I got denied. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next is, again, a little bit more of a personal preference, but it's super, super important down here in South Florida, and it's getting good pest control. Pest control bees! <laughs> can make or break your experience in South Florida. Termites, bees, anything out here. Okay. All right, guys, one of the most important tips we could give you for going into the future as a homeowner is going to be to set a maintenance list. Go through all your HVAC, your water heater, everything you can think of. Go ahead and see when it you think it needs to be replaced, if there's any maintenance needed for it, and then write down those lists. And then you can look into if you want to go and be extra proactive when the next time blah, blah, blah needs to be replaced. So air filter, how often it needs to be replaced? Let me set reminders. AC, how often does it need to be serviced? Let me set reminders. And that is a great way to have a long lasting home. All right, guys, so another great tip is to talk to your neighbors. There's a lot of things you're going to want to find out, like when does the trash come? What's the neighborhood like? You know, things like that. Howdy, neighbor. Uh, Please don't talk to me. Okay. You know, some neighbors are going to be nicer than others. All right, guys, and as a little bonus thing, this more is applicable to people that are changing states or anything like that, like me, for example, coming from Georgia to Florida. You're going to need to change, like, your car insurance, your registration, all that, and that is a bit of a process right there, and it can be a bit expensive, so definitely plan ahead but you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and get those things taken care of because if you get pulled over and you've lived here for a while and you haven't changed your registration, that's a ticket. All right, guys, we appreciate you guys tuning in this week. Let us know down in the comments if you think there's a step that we missed in this. Of course, let us know if you're in the process of closing on a house, we'd love to hear about it. I'm close or just closed on this house. I am going through all these steps or have completed a few of these steps. Definitely should have done some of these a little bit earlier than I did. So be sure to get these done as soon as possible. Definitely pay attention and we're hoping to help you guys out. Let us know in the comments like Taylor said. Uh, we're looking forward to it. Stop with the money on that dumb shit and instead put it in investment. I know it's tempting to spend it and be 